Yesterday was St. Patrick's Day, which means today is Monday. And that means it's time for a brand new episode of Monday Musings. Let's get started. So I finally got a chance to watch the Avengers Endgame new trailer that came out a few days ago. I know people were asking me what my thoughts were about it and stuff. And I was like, I was out that day, didn't get to see it. And I actually forgot about it all weekend until last night. And then I finally got to watch it. And I watched it three times in a row just to make sure I was picking up everything and all this stuff. So um, what do I think about the trailer? I You still didn't get a whole lot to go on, which I think is perfect. I think they gave you enough to whet your appetite. And now we're going into this movie, especially if we don't get any more trailers, which I'm sure we'll get at least one more. Uh, but if we didn't get any more, I, I, I think it's enough to kind of tease you and get you hyped for this. Um, you have some interesting thing ha things happen here. You have the recap, of course, of Infinity War. You have flashbacks to the beginning of Iron Man and Captain America. And you have some moments like with Hawkeye and his and presumably his daughter and or who knows. Uh, but you have all the all these moments and then you you have this introspective uh, scene with Captain America and Black Widow and and you know kind of putting it into perspective the losses that they've had and, and of course the scenes with Hawkeye slash Ronan and then his comic Captain Marvel hairdo for some reason uh, but uh, you have all these moments and then you have at the end these people coming together in these new suits which look like spacesuits to me and Nebula is with them and it seems to me that they it says they'll do whatever it takes and it seems to me that they are taking the fight straight to Thanos in space that's kind of what the impression that you get and especially when at the end kind of capitalizing on the captain marvel movie that just came out you have brie larson in there at the very end and that scene with her and thor which was brilliant love that scene uh, i have not seen captain marvel yet so i can't speak on that uh, hopefully i will get to see it uh this week or soon if not but this trailer i think like i said it did everything that it was supposed to do it, it recap the last movie sets the stage of where they're at gives you little tidbits of who's involved and what their core mission might be and it gets you kind of hyped and excited and curious as to what they're going to do what exactly this movie is going to tell and how in the world do you get back to all these other characters that you know have been lost as comic fans we know that the infinity gauntlet is a kind of a reality rewriting device and so theoretically you'd want to grab hold of it and rewrite history again to bring all these people back eventually obviously you have to do that in some way shape or form to get another spider-man movie <laughs> or another you know black panther movie or or whatever the case may be and so it's just going to be really intriguing how they play this all out but I, I thought it was a fantastic trailer I love the atmospheric choices to, to make most of it black and white with just a few splashes of color mainly red uh, here and there throughout it I, I thought that really set the tone of the film set the tone of at least the beginning of the film where you know you're remorseful uh, you, you're defeated and you're trying to pick yourselves back up and, and figure out what that next step is and then you see them coming together in full color and marching uh, you know slowly towards you know whatever their their goal is with their game faces on ready to ready to take the fight to presumably again Thanos so I loved it I thought it was fantastic and I can't wait it's got me so hyped for this film I want to watch Infinity War again right before it comes out so I can you know kind of uh, go into it like that and something I've never done and all these years I know a lot of people have done it I know some movie theaters actually play them in this way I would love to finally this time watch all the uh, Marvel Studios films in chronological order so I can see the entire tapestry that they've built going into this movie um, especially if this is 
in fact, the last movie, at least the last movie for a while, for Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans and um, so on and so forth. I, I would love to see this whole thing come together. And I, I hope I get the chance to do that. That's a lot of movies <laughs> to watch. And, uh, you know, time is limited. But uh, hopefully I'll get I'll get a chance to do that. But I, w I would love to do it. But I, this, this trailer did everything it was supposed to do for me personally. It got me hyped. It reminded me what happened. It gave me a little taste of what's to come. And, you know, you got introduced to some new characters and an interesting new team. So I'm, I'm excited for it and I can't wait for it. So. What did you think of the of the new trailer and are you excited for the film? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And one, once I finally get to see Captain Marvel, that might be a Monday Musings topic as well. We'll see. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe notification bell so you get updates on all the content going up to this channel. Check out the description below for some important links to a couple of ongoing contests. One that ends today and one that ends next Tuesday. And this Wednesday, March 20th, we launch our next Kickstarter for Last Number Press, Spark for the Seasons Enamel Pin Collection featuring Spark. Link in the description below. Uh, it will be live on Wednesday. It's not quite live yet, but you can uh, follow our social media at Last Number Press, and you can follow me at Grant Fowler for more updates on that. So thank you for watching. Until next time, be good. Bye.